Well, welcome back to Daytime Ottawa. We flip things around. We usually start sort of in the kitchen demo area and then move over to our living room area while well, we flip the switch today. And uh, we're back in the kitchen right now, and I am joined by Jason Lawrence. He is a, a, the owner of Essence Catering. Jason, welcome to the show. How are Great you? Great to have you back. Thank Jason you. Lawrence, sorry. I think that's I said okay. Lawrence. Yeah. Um, that's the comedian guy, though, right? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, let's talk about Essence. Uh, you know, you've been around for, for quite some time now. Tell Eight, us. Uh, 18 years. Yeah. Yeah, 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 great success story. Tell me about. I mean, <laughs> well, no, it is. You're still here. <laughs> yeah, we're right? still here. Um, tell me, you know, tell me about the beginnings. Yeah, I know you're you're, you're classically I can't trained, right? Le, Le Cordon Bleu, Bleu, right? I, I, yeah, I went to school um, for a little <laughs> bit. Yeah, but I, I I was fortunate to work in some different places. Uh, yeah, you went uh, Toronto, Montreal, Dallas. Dallas, and ended up here in Ottawa. Um, never intended to stay in Ottawa. Really? <laughs> but it's a beautiful city. <laughs> Had children. We're here now for nice. good. Nice. Nice. Um, and, the, you know, Ottawa's been really good to us over the years, right? I, I've always kept the business kind of small, and and it's worked out okay. I love it. Yeah, yeah and, and you do a, a mixture, right? You do, you know, catering, small plates, cocktails. You also do sit-down, right? Yeah, we, I, I focus on some higher-end events that are generally a little smaller. Uh, I mean, we do have our large events, but uh, I don't really do a lot in the way of corporate catering. Right, um, right. It never made me happy, so I stayed away from it. Probably could have <laughs> been more successful had I done it, but right, whatever, it's right. all good. Uh, you're going to teach me how to do something yeah, here we're today on the show. Some pasta. Right? So we've been making a lot of pasta over the last couple of years, and what our goal here today is to kind of just show you how we make one of these multicolored pastas. Okay. Then we're going to, if we have enough time, we're going to make two shapes out of it. All right. So here we've got this thing going, and the whole idea with pasta... Yeah, of course, we probably should have made sure that we had it on a smaller, on a wider <laughs> setting. We're going right into something large oh, here. okay, I see. But Do you want laminating... Me to turn it down or up or yeah, what? Yeah, go, go to like eight. Okay. Uh, the most important okay. thing that I see people forgetting is that you really need to laminate the pasta. And what that means is we're just trying to fold it over, um, run it through the machine. The more we fold it over and the more we laminate the layers, the stronger and more supple this becomes oh, in the long really? run. Okay. okay. So I usually do it probably about four times before I start running it through to the smaller and smaller settings. Gotcha. Once we have that, we basically do that with two colors. So we do it with the white and the black. Okay. In this case, we're just using this kind of multi, the two colored version. Right. We stack them. Okay. One on top of the other. We cut them. We put them side by side. And then we end up with something that looks like this. This is really cool. I love this. And that's a pretty basic color for us. Like they get much more complicated, but this one's okay. pretty easy. And you could do it at home. Really, it doesn't take very long. You just need two colors. Sometimes we do as many as four and or five colors. And if you mess colors. it up, I mean, it's still pasta. So you just eat you, it. If you look at our Instagram feed, I have some of the ones, like even the offcuts. If you just smush them all together and run it through, sometimes you get some pretty brilliant <laughs> designs out of it. I love it. Okay. So what we're going to do here, we're going to move this back up to about eight. Okay. And we're just going to put a little bit of flour on here. And can you do that? Like I, I have the um, the manual one, you not can the do electric. With the manual one. We have this one only because this we is have. Nice, yeah. Can we put it up. Mm -hmm. Come know. on, you can get Maybe. in there. There we go. Okay. And we're just gonna roll it through. I'm gonna get it one more, and then you can throw it through a couple of times. Okay. Slide it in here. Yeah. Pull it out. This we'll get it a awesome. little smaller. <laughs> Yeah, this is like the Ferrari of pasta rollers. Yeah, if we're going to do a lot a of pasta, we this one makes life a whole lot easier. Let's get it a little bit more. Okay. Let's oh, go down man. one more. Okay. Yeah, keep going because we're going to spend a little time making the shapes. Okay. One more. <laughs> This is it's not hard, is it? No, like you can see, you can get it done so pretty fun. quick. This is amazing. It's okay. so, so different from my old, the old one I have. So right. we're gonna let's turn this guy okay. off, and then we're gonna go ahead and make two uh, shapes. So okay. one of the ones, let's start off with an easier one. How about that? All right. So just get circles. You can cut them any size. It's really. I mean, depending on how big you want your ravioli. So is this to like, right? f would you make circles because you're going to stuff, do like yeah, a stuffed pasta stuff kind of right thing? Now. Okay. And I'm going to show you how we make, we serve a lot of capolettis, which is this basic shape. It's okay. pretty easy. I'm going to make one, and then we're going to see if you can make one. All right. Okay. okay. The challenge is on. The challenge has been issued, my friend. Okay. So uh, we're going to put a little bit of this. That one's a little wet. There we go. It's a little oh, better. Oh, nice. 
Okay. Okay. So we need a little bit of water, probably not on that one. Okay. I just spray them. We're gonna go fold it over the top. Yeah. Pinch it just down at the top like that. Okay. And then try to go all the way around to create a seal. Okay. If you get a little bit pinching out, not a big deal. Okay. Just put it down on the board. That looks pretty good. Not bad. Use okay. your finger to just make a little dent in it. Oh yeah, okay, look at and that. Fold it over. You'd almost think I don't make these every day. <laughs> okay, we'll do one oh, more. Oh, okay, you're bringing it like right over. Yeah. Okay, I got I you just now. seal it. There, look at that. That's actually not bad, now flip it over on the other side. Okay. We'll do it like this, there you go. And hey. I would typically say for that size, I think that's a two and a half inch, uh, two and a half inch ring mold. Uh, I would probably serve like five of those with something else, whether it's a vegetables or right. you know whatever sauce you're going to use. Kind of thought this was like the segue into getting another. We'll do another show where we'll do sauces, right? Oh, so nice! We'll come I in, love it. We'll hey, bring um, these in. Is, this must be a busy time of year for it you, is, right? I think the weddings busy. are coming up yeah. uh, and that sort of thing. Or, or are you doing more? It's funny how we went from nothing to everything, right? right? You know, <laughs> there was nothing for three years, and now everybody needs everything on Tuesday. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty busy time of the year, um, but there's always some bookings that are available. Okay. Maybe not okay. now. I think until the end of June, there's a couple of openings here and there. Um, it's been really consistent. It's like people were dying to throw parties. Yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, um, uh, listen, all you have to do is look at the reviews, by the way, at, uh, on Essence Catering and how much, you know, you've got just, a, I think you're like a 4.8 out of 5 on, on Google reviews I, right the only, now. The only non-five-star review I ever had was someone who didn't use my service. <laughs> so, I mean, <laughs> I don't oh, know. That is typical. Yeah, I've heard well, from other you know, chefs so, as well. Yeah, what are you going to uh, do? Great to see yeah. you again, man. Yeah, Thank you, you so much. Essence EssenceCatering.ca to find out more information. Don't forget, you got a book now. We'll be right back after this. <laughs>